<laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Heroes of Bastion. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining us for episode six. Um, we're going to get started right where we left off. So we're in the midst of a training exercise where Gilly was showing you all how to be heroes. And his first exercise was specifically for Lilac, and that Lilac needed to defend themselves without hurting any of you. And the, the combat had begun. Uh, Rally using a bat, I believe, uh, both Alea and... Said, did I say it right today? You did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Progress! Let's um, go! I'm so and Nathira, proud of you, I gotta scoot back. I gotta scoot back to the desk. Um, and Nathira were using their powers to kind of cloud and confuse a lilac. Okay. And just then, at the end, Gilly had welcomed the uh, fifth participant of the training, a blue armored figure uh, with chains coming down from his helmet. Um, and that's where we left off. Um, mm-hmm. I just want uh, to clarify, Li- Lilac couldn't hurt us physically, but there was nothing about emotionally, right? Correct. Oh, God. Correct. Okay. Correct. Time, Good to though. know. Rally Correct. begins crying in the middle of the arena, and... <laughs> <laughs> Time uh, for her to... Cutting words. Complete your self-worth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There's just yeah, so little left. <laughs> oh, my Okay. So we're going to pick up uh, essentially right there. So Lilac, you ha- you are in the midst, I believe, uh, it was Nathira and Alea's smoke. I believe you both I were confusing had, them. No, Alea hadn't done anything I yet. Had, I ah. was holding back. And right. Lilac had phased out of Nathira's yep. blind. And then as she'd phased, that's when the fifth one was welcomed. Ah, but got it. Blue got boy. It. Blue boy. Got it. Um, I'll, Before I get to blue boy... Alea, is there anything you want to do now that you've seen your sister has phased out of the smoke and Rally is on his butt because he got tripped by by Lilac? Uh, you were you were <laughs> Can I can I just make a little black hole under Rally? Under Rally? Yeah, I just want him I want him to fall and then when he like falls through another one, so he's standing up. <laughs> Like yeah. portal gun him? Yeah, just... yeah basically. I really thought Alayla was trying to eat someone yeah. again. Just like, rally dies anyway. I am not, so... no. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, go say hi to like fucking Jeff or whatever. I'm gonna say because you've pulled this maneuver before, like by passing um your sister through up to the villain. Not I'm gonna support. say rally. You're like laying on your back and suddenly like you suddenly for a split second you are in the blackest void you've ever seen. The, the, Did I die? The, the light of the stars are so out of reach. You feel there's no air coming for a second. And then suddenly you're upright back in the training area. It was just a very weird experience. <gasps> you're standing completely upright. Is that what death is? <laughs> How uh, I don't want to go hate? into that philosophical discussion right now. So <laughs> I saw Jeff. My grandpa was smiling at me from the distance. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. What's his name, his Jeff? Name is... I don't think his name is Jeff. <laughs> Your grandfather? I don't think his name was Jeff. I don't. No, remember. I mean the the kid who like was absorbed. No, and... it, 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 it was Billy. It was Billy. Oh, Billy. It I was... saw Billy. He smiled at me. I could see the light in his eyes fading. You Sorry, moving see, on. You didn't see Billy. I know. I'm saying <laughs> it though, because I think it's funny. He's um, gone by now, baby. <clears throat> oh, he's gone. Um, ceased. And we see the the blue armored figure steps off the elevator. And just wordlessly reaches back and pulls one of the chains down from behind his helmet, and he is going to throw it at um, Lilac, um, making oh, its way towards you. Uh, so he's so sexy for that, for real. <laughs> he's going to use unleash his powers. Mm-hmm. Um, hey yo! And it like it reaches out for you, but it just like catches just a little bit too short, like right in front of your face. I feel like she didn't even flinch and just stood there and just went, Ooh, that's a shame. I'd like her to grab it and then I'd like her to throw him to try and bowling kind of pin uh, the rest of them. The rest that's my just got up. Sister. I just got up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, going to react to this at this point. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll have you both, we'll have you both roll. Um, let's see. Uh, if this what... works, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna have... Let's see, I don't know which role this would be. Um, I would say, for you, uh, Lilac directly engage a threat. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, Alea, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to try, as you're throwing this motherfucker to us, pop a, uh, hole right in front of him so he goes through and, uh, actually knocks into you. <laughs> okay. Just like two, bam, bam. Yep, just portals. Yeah, thinking with portals. Portals, yeah. Portals! Uh, can you, can you still roll for, uh, directly engage a threat for me? Yeah, um, I got a five. You got a five. Well, that's perfect then. Mark yourself yeah. potential. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you whip him, and we see Alea open this black hole, and he passes. And it's weird for a quick second because suddenly he's next to you and slams back into you, uh, knocking you to the ground. Uh, Nathira, is there anything you'd like to be doing in this moment? There is just like floating there in the shadow now. <laughs> She's not doing anything. All right. Rally, anything for you? So I just witnessed the the slow eternity of creation and (laughs) now standing up. Yes, yes. (laughs) Do I still have my bat or did I lose that in the void? It's it's floating inside of Alea somewhere. Can I try and pull it out? I don't even know where it is. I'll just like open up my stomach. Like, come get it. Gilly's like, Gilly, can I have another bat? G- Gilly's now standing up on the balcony, like, no. no <laughs> it's somewhere inside me, come find it. I I feel like we should phrase that different, but um, <laughs> I guess with very little option, Rally's just gonna charge, I guess. Just are you no gonna, power. like, try to jump on Lilac, or what are you doing? It's <laughs> just, like, fucking headlock. Clearly, okay. like, this is not, I know this isn't gonna work, but he's gonna try it anyway. Give me directly engage a threat, please. Let's go. Rally is out of options. That's 2d6 get... plus danger. Uh, so that's an 8 on the dice plus danger. It's a 7 on the dice. All right, so 7, you can either r- resist or avoid uh, blows. You can take something from someone, create an opportunity for your allies, impress, surprise, or frighten your opponent. You can pick one. Impress. <laughs> There's a part of me that wants to say impress. The other part of me is like, what if I just stole the like the the earrings while I was over there? You can't. Oh, I know. We can't take can. them off. But if if that was an option, Alec, I'd take it. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll just go with. Um, hmm. I'll say create an opportunity for my allies. Okay. How are you gonna I do think- that? It's just gonna like be as much of a nuisance as possible, just like swinging around. She's on okay. the floor. She's on the ground oh, really? with, with uh, oh, yeah. blue armor on top of her. I thought you were still standing up. Uh, I guess I'll just kick you while you're down. <laughs> <laughs> Options are limited. You're on the ground. So gonna, Rally like... just comes out and just starts hit, 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 like kicking you while you're on the ground. Um, <laughs> feels gratuitous. And, uh, this and is gonna be bad. Blue Armor turns his head ever slightly. He's like, that's not very nice. And a chain is going to come at you, uh, Rally. I thought we were on the same team. Oh. <laughs> not uh, anymore. And I, I need you to roll, uh, take a powerful blow, please. Oh, I shit. I will do that for you <laughs> because you're my friend. So 2d6 <laughs> plus, uh, wait, it, oh, take a tower. <laughs> and what conditions do you have marked, buddy? I have oh, yeah. a f- oh, afraid shit. and angry. Okay. Oh, um, because of afraid, it would have been minus two from my engage a threat, so it would have isn't been five. It, you add you add conditions, right? No, I was talking Damn. about the roll before this. Okay, got it. So that would have been a five. I don't know if that's a failure or not, but uh, grand total of eight. An eight. 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 Because I okay. add the two conditions, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then eight. Um, so uh, you can give ground. Your opposition gets an opportunity. You can struggle past the pain. Mark two conditions. Uh, oh. You can provoke a, a teammate to foolhardy action or take advantage uh, of your influence to inflict a condition. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I inflict oh, a condition God. to them or they inflict one to me? To yourself, I believe. It is to yourself, yeah. To yourself. Uh, uh... As, as this chain just rockets from the back of his head into your gut. Shit. There's a part of me that wants to take two conditions because I think it'd be fine. Don't. 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 You need to stop don't. that. Please. Don't do that anymore. Come on. <laughs> Christopher, <laughs> come on. Christopher. The, the, mm. 
you've just been taken by surprise, you know. These are all very complicated things. Um, uh, sure, I'll just uh, at the, at the behest of my teammates, sure, I guess I'll I'll um, what is this? I will give ground, I guess. Yeah, so that just it sends you rocketing backwards, like hits you in the gut, sends you rocketing backwards. I just um, scream, "Give me a portal! Give me a portal! Give me a portal! Give me!" <laughs> <laughs> Do you portal him? I don't know if I'll have the ability to slow him down. Uh, slow it's him mostly for the bit. You don't have to. I can slam into the wall. Yeah, just, just let him slam. Uh, <laughs> I'll portal him and he slams to the wall anyway. <laughs> because I'm, I'm, not good. I'm not I'm not perfect with this yet. Um, oh, just like to the left a little bit. <laughs> uh, Nathira or, or Lilac, is there anything you would like to do at this moment? Well, he's just hit Rally away for kicking Lilac while she's down. Yeah. Well, he's, how, he's basically sitting on top of her. How many weapons are near us now? Because we didn't grab any, did we? No, nobody grabbed any weapons. The only weapon is inside of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reach down deep. I have an idea. Uh, can I Can I actually try and reach the weapon inside of me? <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to. I haven't been able to pull anything out yet. <laughs> Give me an unleash your powers, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, unleash your powers. <laughs> Nine. Nine? Okay, mark yeah. a condition. Or you can either mark a condition or I can tell you how it's unstable. Or um I want I wanna hear you say how it's unstable actually. Okay, so describe to me what you were exactly trying to do and then I'll tell you how it's unstable. Yeah. Um I am trying to pull the bat out of me and uh <laughs> lift up like alter the gravity by uh lilac and bluebird um and basically try and like swing bata bata hit bluebird like out of the fucking park by gently adjusting his gravity so it's easier for me to do it so you've never pulled anything back out before and you go to do this, you reach your hand, you create the portal and you reach your hand and you grab and pulling it out is probably one of the most painful experiences you have ever felt. And it buckles you, you get the bat, but it, you get, you go to the ground. You're not able to do the gravity or even swing the bat as you imagine the worst, probably like, like stomach cramp you can imagine. That's that's essentially what it was like from pulling something back out from this void and oh trying to break God. the gravity of that black hole. To pull it back. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Yeah, ah. you are you are buckled in pain on the ground. Uh, Lilac or Nathira, anything? You wanna go, Chris? <laughs> yeah. So so if I'm getting this right, Rally just went. Yep. And Rally just went. Dragon Ball Z and, just. Pff. Just. And Lilac is still being held down by Blue Armor. Yes. She's so scared and she doesn't like this Blue Armor guy being there. Still in the shadow form, she's now going to go to Blue Armor. And does she recognize him? So he's got like a no. full face plate on. So you don't know who okay. he is. So she definitely, so she's even more scared because she's just freaking out about who the heck is this person and Gilly's not doing anything. She's going to go right back around, not even trying to, um, not trying to blind him like she just did Lilac, but instead this time she's going to try to whisper in his ear, just take a step back and let's figure this out, please. And she's going to try to persuade with best interests. Okay, Suede, so you have an adult move. So it's the doom sign I took at the very beginning. Ooh, so I can wow. mark my doom sign and try to use an adult move. Okay. That's so why I was like, I want to make sure she doesn't know who this is because she's freaking the freak out. So roll, roll 2d6 plus superior. You need to get a 10 or higher. Yeah. <laughs> it's not looking at what my superior is. And I'm using online dice. Oh, it just doesn't stop till I say stop. Um, Rody, Rody. I got, do I have a negative two or a negative one? 
I have a negative one. That is a ten. It's a ten. So um, so risky. So say again what you what you said what you whisper in his ear. So I whispered um, like something along the lines of like let's just take a step back like let her go we can talk about this Please. and he, he he like he kind of like looks to the side like lilac you see him kind of turn his head he looks back at lilac and he goes good point and he step he steps back and when he steps back all of the chains begin to come up out of his helmet oh, he's shit. The guy as they're about to come down on lilac okay what do you do lilac um lilac wants to try i want to try and unleash my powers to uh like run like speed speed of light straight over to alaya mm -hmm. grab her and throw her over with rally and then stand in front of them and like prepare to dodge out of the way <laughs> wait what okay all what? right <laughs> roll me and unleash your powers oh my god i thought you were a cup you bitch <laughs> No, she's, <laughs> she's, she's using herself as bait to get the two of you rocked. You absolute <laughs> fucking cunt. Can I try? What do I Can add I this? I add consume. freak. So, uh, so Alicia Powers is uh, 2d6 plus freak. And this oh, is how Lilac got eaten by Leia. My freak is a plus one, so that's a nine. Nine. So you can either mark a condition or I can tell you how it's unstable. I'll mark a condition. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, you speed away and then put yourself. You or you grab? Do you grab Alea first and then throw Alea into poor Rally, who's just probably getting up from the wall? <laughs> <I'm> pretty, <laughs> just I just like, need to be here. Pretty, like, you <laughs> pretty much, she's gonna kind of like scoop because Alea's like kind of hunched down, like in pain. She's just gonna scoop her up and kind of like almost like bowling ball her over to Rally, but not hard because she can't hurt her. So kind of just took her over there and then basically like land in front of them and get ready to dodge out of the way immediately. And I've marked the angry condition. Got it. Rally, are you uh, going to catch Alea as Alea comes tumbling at you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Can you roll me? Can you roll me? Can you roll me a defend? Can you roll me a defend? So it's, it's 2d6 plus savior. 2d6 plus save. Oh god, I think my saver is like super low. Give me yes. a second. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, not bad. Like a lot. Give me a second. Savior. Uh, savior. twelve. Twelve. Yeah, Ooh. you like effortlessly like as you're standing up like, and you catch uh like uh what is it called? Fireman's carry. Is that right? Is that what it's called? Like you catch like this. <laughs> Sco the Scooby Doo. You know, <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo. <-lo. laughs> um. And Lilac, you plant yourself right in front, and Blue Armor turns to face you, and the chains separate, opposed to being all together, and that he's gonna roll to grab you by the limbs, opposed to hitting you. Shit. Yes. Uh... Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> also, so... though, honestly, work. That's my sis. <laughs> Will... Will my trying to hold a dodge be able to do anything? <laughs> Can you dodge five chains at once? Uh, I don't you can, know. You can dodge the one heading for your neck, your arms, or your legs. I'll try and dodge the ones that are heading for my arms. For your arms? Okay. Uh, so what would that be? Would that be... Because you're going to take a powerful blow, so you want to use that rule that you've got? Yes, I would. Yes. You know what? Why don't you just roll to hit me, and then I'll just roll my take a powerful blow, and we'll see what I can do. Okay. Oh shit, that's an eleven. Um, rest in peace. Holy! <laughs> do I have a plus three to this, or do I have a plus two? Because that's what's going to change this. Plus two. It's a six. Doesn't matter. It's a six. So you go to twist, and as you twist, there's another chain right where you were going to go, and it wraps. You around the wrist, wraps you around the other wrist, around the top, like torso around the neck, and then around your feet, and kind of just poof, puts you on your butt on the ground. Mm. Nathira, Rally, or uh, Alea, is there anything you want to do as Lilac is now disabled on the ground? Are the chains coming at us, or was that just... At... No. Okay. 
That was I'm just still just right. holding like <laughs> yeah. a lamp. I imagine I'm still in a shit ton of pain. Yes. So. You've Are got you a very good? bad headache. <laughs> you good? Really, I need some Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Gilly, do we have Pepto Bismol? Uh, yes, right away. He's already coming down the elevator with the train Gilly. with Pepto Bismol. Um, Thank still... you for catching me, Rally. No problem, bud. Uh, and uh, are we still doing the training, or is this like its own thing now? Hey, Thera. Uh, <laughs> I so so question yes. is Gilly coming down? Yes, Gilly is coming down. Yes. Can, can I? Can I? I'm trying to see if Gilly is surprised by any of this, or if he seems kind of calm. Pierce the mask for me. Okay. Uh, mundane. I have a... Mundane, mundane, mundane. Okay, here we go. Dang, 11. 11? Uh, he seems mildly surprised, but he's trying to keep it cool because... His wards were just slapped around, so he's just trying to like keep it cool. Like you know, he's not trying to seem impressed by this guy because basically the equivalent of his children were just handed their asses. So he's just trying to keep it like together. We get a lunch break after this, or is this the whole day? <laughs> uh, of course, there will be lunch. Okay, thanks. Oh my god. Do you think um, you can walk, if no one's, Alea, or? If no one's doing yeah. anything, Lilac is furious on the ground, and she is going to kind of growl up at all of you and be like, take this seriously, and I want her to try and pull the chains together and th throw him behind her where Rally and... Um, <laughs> can I catch Alea him too? Were. Can I try something? <laughs> uh, okay. So you're gonna roll to hit him to do that, and then uh, mm -hmm. Alea, uh, if they hit, then you can do something. You make Come sense? On. Is this what am I rolling for this? Uh, roll plus danger. Come on, it's a six. The six. Uh, so what all, is this? So you, you're gonna have like you nine grab the chains and you like rip it forward, and all it does is just pulls him close to you, and he goes, "Nice try," and puts you back on your butt. <laughs> I hate this. Probably got a I tiny bit of satisfaction out of that because he thought it was funny. Um, and he pull he pulls the chains away as Gilly comes to present the Pepto Bismol to Alea uh, and begin to pour tea. Because well, that was uh, an interesting first round. How, out first? of how many? What? Oh well, yes. I mean, we're going to train throughout the week, so we you know this is our first uh, training session, our first round. I mean, I have, I have work tomorrow, so... Uh, your your father will understand. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot he was like a superhero. And we're, Dentist? We're kind what does of, he we're do? Kind, we're kind of already at your work, so... Does this count as work? Am I getting paid for this? No. No. The, the no? intercom, no. your dad goes, no! <laughs> Come on! Do you get paid, like, usually a lot, or...? I, I mean, I get paid hourly. It's like, what's the money, what's the monetary, like, what's the currency in this world? Gold. I, ca I get paid like 12 copper, maybe like every so often, like 12, 12 an hour. Lilac, like, like as you're thing. saying this, is going to slowly get back to her feet and is going to turn to all of you and say, I don't know why you think this is some big joke, but it's not. You didn't come up me with anything, apart from Nithera, who actually tried to do something and give you guys an opportunity, and you kind of wasted that. Well, she's kind of in the bad. middle of this. Can I do something? Oh, you now like that I've had it? my Tupto Bismol and my tummy's <laughs> feeling better. I've achieved full power what, after- What would you like to do? Uh, I want to uh, alter the gravity where she is, so she is forced to just sit the fuck down and uh, cracks the ground underneath her a little. Give me uh, unleash your powers. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Yeah. Uh, so you sit down. You are forced to sit down by your sister. As you feel the gravity just <laughs> plant you in the ground. Maybe do that earlier. 
impressive. Gilly goes, well, um, who needs a hot towel? I'll take a hot towel. Anyone? Hot towel? Can I also no. get another bat? I don't know where mine went. Uh, I'm... I, yours is out here. I pulled it out. Oh, I thought it was still in there. All right. No, it was painful, but I pulled it out. Um, I, I don't okay. really know. All right. I'm like done for the day. You, she's going to point to the blue almond one. What's the deal? Are we going to know your identity or are you keeping that a secret? Oh, I think it's more fun this way. Hmm. Fine. Uh, and she's not going to detransform then until she like like she's gonna. Is the gravity still on? It's it's probably still pretty heavy. Yeah. yeah. Try. She, <laughs> can I try and force herself to her feet? Yeah. Give me a. Give me a. Unleash your powers. See if you can Hulk your way through. See if you can Vegeta your way through this <laughs> ten times gravity. I am begging um, so hard for this to be a terrible one. This is this is freak again, right? Yeah. It's just a seven. A seven. So you're able to stand, but it's not pretty. It's not like it's like the full squat, <laughs> just <laughs> like it's not elegant at all. Mm -hmm. Do you need Once... some help? No. It's good. Does blue armor have She's... pockets? Uh, he does not have pockets. Okay, cool. Do any um... of our suits have pockets? Do you, do you you um, uh, Lilac is gonna walk past the layer, like as she goes to the other, and she goes, "Color me impressed." Uh, Let it go as soon as she says that, <laughs> and then get to the elevator, and she's like, "Have fun with your playtime, kids." Uh, uh, and then Lilac, we weren't finished. Mm, no, I'm done. Uh, and she's gonna head straight up. Okay. All right. Um, well, while well, she this goes, tea. Combs down. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, what did we learn? Lorcan Lilac is, is mean. Oh. Yeah, All right. Um, work together as a team. Anything else? I learned Alea is surprisingly light. All right, uh, and he looked into Nithira. Nithira? Sur wait, surprise me? So I never changed out of the You're shadow. still missed. You're still missed form. I'm not there. That's why I'm trying to. Uh, Nithira, That's you can come out, you can come out now. Nithira, you can come out now, unless there's something so, you want to do. So yeah, questions about blue armor. Like, what does this mask look like? Is there an entry point? So it's like an enclosed, like, uh, basically like pointed helmet that comes down. Essentially that, like, um... It's imagine like a classic Power Rangers kind of helmet, um, mm. except there's like no mouth bit of it. It's all like kind of like a black, or uh, it's it's like a blue helmet that was a has a black visor that comes back to points that then kind of come down into these chains around his shoulders. This is gonna be really creepy. Can I try to like use the darkness to like, cause it's you know my body's kind of just completely molecularly changed. But I can still see. Is it possible for me to try to sneak in through one of the, like, if there's the tiniest uh, bit opening in his, in his helmet to see his face? Because it would creep an, in like a darkness. Give me an unleash your powers to try to manipulate okay. your body this way. Okay. In through a tiny, tiny crack and then fit it into yep. a tiny, tiny helmet, or like a small, <laughs> a, a small helmet, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Just getting inside that yeah, no, I definitely was not. I got a six. Okay, so mark a potential for me. Swat. Um, so hey, as, as as you encroach, you know you're in darkness. You're you're unseen, and he turns yeah. his head to look at you and he goes, "What are you doing?" <laughs> you just hear a. <laughs> she. <laughs> And she's just like in the in the corner, just the darkness all pulls together, and she just like comes out of it. Do you want some tea? Uh huh. Do you need some type of abysmal? Just like no. poor little thing. Well, um, so Nithira, now that you've revealed yourself, is there anything you learned? She like looks to rally. No, not rally you. I oh. 
I had um, more, but all right. Lilac doesn't hit as hard as I thought she did. Well, that's oh. as good. What about using your powers? Is there anything you learned about that? I'm not as small as I thought. Interesting. All right. Are you feeling she, like, okay? Kinda, she kind of just glares at Blue Armor for a second, then back at Rally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, okay, good. Just making sure. And Rally, why didn't you use your powers? You didn't transform at all. Um, I, I, I don't know. I didn't think I'd need them. I thought the bat would be enough, personally. I thought it'd be like a superhero bat. You got like six, you got like a bunch of them. Well, Rally, well, you, I don't know if you can tell by the bruises on your body, but it was not enough. They were, they were there before. They were not. Oh. You're a really bad liar. I, it's, it's a, it's a family thing. <laughs> My dad's not very good at lying either. Well, your, I mean, your dad I mean, had a secret he, about he replacement this. for a long time, so like, you know. I'm also not a very good listener. All right. Most of the time. Uh, Alea, what did you learn about your powers? That I can, in fact, pull things out of me. It seemed to cause you great discomfort. Yeah, it did feel good. Uh, Should we just keep some on hand at all points? Maybe Pepto? I can put it in my belt. Yeah, that's, that seems like a good idea. Um... <laughs> Oh, I, I'm not really sure how that happened, uh, but it was incredibly painful, and I never want to do it again. All right. Understood. Um, speaking of incredibly painful, the gentleman with the <laughs> with the blue spikes, who's oh. kicking lilacs, but oh yes, this is Rapture. <laughs> Ra Rapture. Rapture. Yes, this is Rapture. That's a better name uh, than mine. That's not fair. Rook, uh, Rook recommended him to uh, come train with you. The guy who kicked my ass? I believe so, yes. Hmm. He's pretty cool. Told me not to smoke. Then where, he did, smoke? where did you come from? He does smoke. Uh, who are you speaking to? Rapture. He kind of like looks at you sideways, and he and he basically says, "Same place as all of you." Weird guy You're with brief, briefcase gave me an orb. Are you from the school? Yeah. Have we met before? Yeah, you were practicing kung fu on the roof. I knew it was you. <laughs> and, and he and he like he, he cracks the helmet and pulls it off. So, as I've long as you don't tell, as long as you don't tell Spotlight, it's fine. Oh, 100 percent. No, then, yeah. Who's then, Spotlight? This is so fun. And then he, he, he gives a thumb to where Lilac went. Lady Sparkle Fingers. Are you? Are you, what? Are, are know, you and Lilac know. friends? I'm confused. No, I are just you guys? Like to, I just, I just like to mess with her. So, <laughs> so I like you this knew guy. that that she was Lilac the whole time. Oh, I I knew who all of you were from the get go. I've been watching all of you. That's really creepy. Yeah, Rook told me to do it, so. That's even creepier. And he goes to light he goes to light up a cigarette and Gilly goes, ah, da, 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 da. No. It's like fucking narc. He puts um, the cigarettes away. Um, rally, rally, <laughs> rally. Yeah. I'm gonna what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be back. Cover for me. Okay. Okay. And she very pitifully, not very good at sneaking away, goes for the elevator. And like it's like the closed door. No, nobody stops you. You freely. And Gilly goes. Uh, she like thinks that she hid away. Like, da -da -da -da, like Krunk from Emperor's New Game. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, Riley's like maintaining yeah. eye contact the entire time, just like. Uh, so Nathira, you're heading upstairs. Try and find Lilac. All right, Lilac. Where did you go after you went up the elevator? I think. Um when she ended up uh back in the shop uh as soon as she was like kind of upstairs like she dropped the transformation and was immediately on to, like on with rook and has immediately been asking him updates on my dad anything have you tried searching this area this area this area so this area and stuff rook rook answers your phone call 
And he goes, oh, uh, what do you want, kid? Pff, you hear, like, sounds of fighting. He's like, I'm busy. Pff, pff. Um, updates on my dad? Uh, yeah, I gotta, I'm going to check out the restricted section right now. I'm just dealing with uh, the Black Rose gang, all right? I'll be, I'm heading there. I just gotta deal with these guys quick, all right? All right, which uh, area are you in? I'm heading to the restriction, the restricted section. Oh, you're there, so there's literally no, no eyes on you, I, right? I'm in neon right now, and I'm heading there, but then I ran into these son of a bitch, and just like you hear the sound of a head hitting a table. Um, he's like, okay. I'm heading there right now. Okay, fine. Uh, then what she will have done is started getting on the computers and starting trying to track him and where he is from the video feed. You see him finishing a drink with his phone here as he's slamming like one dude's head into the counter, then taking the glass and slamming it into another dude's head. And he's like, I'm just, I'm leaving right now as he's like reaching across the bar, grabbing another beer and then heading his way out. You know, I can I see you, him. right? Yeah, fuck off, kid. I'll, I'm gonna go get up there, all right? All right, fine. Uh, and she'll hang up. Uh, and but then keep following uh, him on the cameras. Yeah. Uh, he's like continuing to fight people as he leaves the bar. Um, and uh, Nathira, you arrive and you see Lilac is sitting at the computer uh, looking at uh, Rook beat the piss out of um, some bar patrons. And she would have, um, the second the door is open, she realized, oh, wait, I'm back in like real world. Just drop the transformation and kind of just go right next to Lilac, not trying to interrupt. Hi. Hi. So what what are you, what what you watching? I'm watching Rook. He's headed to the restricted section. He's trying to see if he can get a read on where my dad is. You see, Rook is grabbing a guy and throwing him into the dumpster. He's distracted, however, so he's taking his time. Well, if anyone's gonna find it, it'll be him. Yeah. No. No. But he'll have good eyes on the situation. He'll be good at assessing it. So. We have that, at least. Sorry we didn't give you a good fight and stuff. You were fine. What well, I said we, because, you know, like, teamwork makes dream work, and we didn't really make the dream work that time. Mm, that's true. I don't think they realize, but Rally and Alea are extremely powerful. Oh, yeah, you guys are all super strong. I'm not that strong. Yeah, you are. No, I do you think I'm, why do you think that? I'm not being self-depreciative. I know I'm super strong, but I'm not that strong. I can hit hard. I can move quickly. There are a few other things that I'm sure I can do, but I don't know what they are. But Rally's already shown well, very incredible power. And so has Alea. And so have you. It's frustrating to me that to them it seems like a game. When they're the ones who could be the biggest danger to the people around them. Well, maybe, um, you know, future trainings could help. Because then, then you can, like, really show them what you got and then make them mad. And they, they could be, like, a real fight. Mm, making people mad when they're incredibly powerful and unsure on how to control it is exactly what happened to Rally recently. What do you mean? Oh, he didn't tell you? She actually takes her vision, because she's been looking at the cameras the whole time. That's why her voice mm -hmm. has been training. Yep. She's been following the cameras. Yep. Here she leans back on the chair and looks at you. Did he at least invite you to homecoming? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I asked. But, yeah, we're, we're going to homecoming. Cute. So he really didn't tell you anything. That is so interesting. Um, when Rally was, what? when Rally was getting rid of those videos, did he just delete them or did he change the footage? Like Rook did previously Wait, where what? he re-edited uh, over footage? the footage or did he, he just, he, he just delete, delete, he just deleted them. 
Is there a way to find deleted files from something to restore them? Let me roll for it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> I was. I was a fifty. I'm, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll evens. You emptied the recycling bin. Uh, you I did was not empty the recycling roll. bin. Oh god damn it! That's hold on. I got stuck in the dice tower. I rolled a five. Um. So you click, and there is like there is like thirty oh. some video files in the trash bin on the computer. Hmm. Cool. What, are, what are these? Um, I haven't watched them, but Rook told me about what happened after Rally and I argued. Well, uh, and he, she's he gonna. Left. He needed to clear his head. Yeah, he left all right. Um, and she's gonna scroll through and try and search for um, Rook uh, and Rally fighting in one mm -hmm. of them. Okay. Um, and she'll click on that um, to try and get a good look at what's happening and also to show Nefira. Yeah, I mean, so this this video clip pops up and it shows Rook and Rally. Well, this, th I mean, you you haven't seen Rally in this form. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? This, this kind of moving, almost like darkness-like form um, as he's combating with uh, Rook in the alleyway as they're going back and forth and back and forth, back and forth. And then you see, you know, um, a like a strong punch to the face from Rook, and then that's when you see Rally kind of like almost calm down just a little bit. Is is this why why Rally was being carried by Rook? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure Rook knocked him out. Oh, why 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 were they fighting? She's Rally Rally loves Rook. Cool. Um yeah. Uh I don't know if that would have helped him here. She's gonna hover her finger over like the button to show the earlier videos. But we'll think against it and go. Um, I think he was damaging a lot of the area. Well, there's like a ton of videos. Are there more fights? I think it's just him and Brooke fighting. This was the end of it. But that's 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 a lot of fighting. Mm-hmm. Rook said he gave him a run for his money, so. Oh. Well, what are the other videos? Maybe maybe Rally had some like good moves on Rook. We could we could put those on like a I could put those on a separate video file later. Like he really like, like a highlight reel. You know, these aren't here because Rally wanted to keep them, right? Well, his dad might have deleted them. I, I don't. His, I, maybe. his dad didn't delete these. His dad re-edits over files. He doesn't delete them because otherwise then there's a blank in the system showing that a file was deleted. He creates new video feeds to go over the top to cover up tracks so that way if there's we'll a reason to We'll just click on a couple of them. If they're all the same files, maybe it's just boring. We can like empty the recycle bin, you know? Alright. Uh, she'll click back one just to one. show more of the Rook and Rally. Hopefully. Yeah, it, it shows the fight a little bit more in earnest. As the last clip was the end of the fight, this is like, like we see Rook kind of jumping down from the rooftops and Rally like throwing a dumpster at him right away with like one of his tentacles and Rook sliding underneath it and then like jumping off the wall, Superman punching Rally in the face and the two of them just kind of go into town. I think this is really cool. I think we should save this one. Maybe we should just like, just like put them on a little folder and do like a little, a little VSB drive and then we can save them for later. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe. Well, we know where they are now. Uh, and what she'll do is she'll restore the last two vials that they watched. Mm -hmm. And then exit out. She'll okay. go, what if you bring a USB stick? You can have them. Well, he's got a bunch right here, and she would know rat like she would know rat the rally point store. Well, and well probably... you're you're still in the bat cave part. We're in the so, downstairs. Oh, I thought we came up. Yeah, so you went down into the training section and then oh, came my. back into the cave section. Okay. 
Um, oh, we're gonna go oh, ahead. No, 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 go. No, go. I was just gonna say, I could. Are you gonna be here for like two minutes? Because I can go upstairs and grab a little, grab the, one of the VSP sticks. Sure. Okay. All right. We're gonna cut downstairs uh, to uh, Gilly, uh, Rally, Alea, and Bluebird. Um, and anyway, this was the first time I went to Nova Land, and this was the second time I went to Nova Land, and this God was the damn it. Now there's a theme park, Chris. <laughs> I was doing Ooh. it for the bit. You don't have to make a cannon. I hate you. I made a cannon, make a cannon already. Already. through, the, through the thing. And Gilly and goes, well, I think that's enough for today. Um, I thought I we think, had the rest of the day to do this. Um, well, we can continue if you'd like, Rally, if you want to stay. Well, we don't really have much of a tan. We, we, can, we don't have to. Well, uh, Rally, how about this? Um, uh, Alea, would you mind uh, taking... Um, what's your name again? And he goes, Erevin. Do you mind taking Erevin upstairs? I'd, I'd like to speak to Rally for a moment. Yeah, no problem. Um, and as as you go, you see he's like pulling out a cigarette and he goes, you smoke, kid? No, and um, I'm not gonna lie, Gilly says that you're not supposed to in here. However, uh, we can go outside and we can smoke. All right, sounds like a plan yeah. to me. I have some fruit snacks if you want some in my bag. If your Killer. blood sugar is low. After this. <laughs> Love it. Um, and so the two of you get on the elevator heading back upstairs. So, Rally, you want to tell me why you really didn't use your powers? <laughs> there's, there's something really uh, satisfying about just hitting something with a baseball bat. That's, that's why you guys have the rage room. Rally, hmm. you have one of the most powerful weapons in the entire city, perhaps the world, around your waist. We need to teach you how to use it properly, so it's best if you not lie. kind of stay silent in the way that a kid being scolded does. If you want to prevent what happened to Nefira from happening again, you need to learn how to use it. What if I lose control again? Then you trust your team to rein you back in. Do I remember the things that I did? It's like, it's like, it's like, I don't know if you've ever been blackout drunk before, but it, it's like <laughs> the flashes after a night of drinking where it's like, it's not full memories, but it's just kind of like moments, feelings, uh, impressions, smells, you know, like just this hints of memory. It's not pretty, but it's not like a solid memory. I still see their faces, Kelly. I mean, they were criminals, but they didn't. Yes, of course, they didn't deserve what I did to them. Perhaps the not guy. To... Go ahead. The and 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 the guy he I was supposed to save him. Well, the truth of the matter is, is you're not supposed to be saving anyone. You're supposed to be reading comic books, taking tests, chasing after girls, and and figuring out what it means to be a kid. You're not supposed to be doing this. None of you are. But you are. And the best way that I can help, at least, is show you how to be best prepared to stop things from, like, this happening again and how to learn from it. We learned now that your belt, your belt in particular, is very connected to your emotions. Very much so. And we don't need to control your emotions or make them you know, one note or flat, but we need to channel them. Then opposed to exploding outwards, you direct it towards a threat. Transform for me, Rally. <laughs> like here at the table, or do we want to go down to the weird mountaintop area that's in the... Oh, you, you are, you are like, you're still in the, like, oh, that area. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're still in that area. Think of protecting Athera and transform. As he sort of pulls out one of the DNA eggs, you can see his like 
hand is shaking and he can hear the screams and the sound of blood crunch and of bones crunching. And he remembers that impact from when Rook clocked his shit. It's going to hit the button. Does it do anything? So initially it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. And then he puts his hand on his on your shoulder because he sees you in distress. He goes, think of an inside joke with Nithira. Think of something fun. Something that only the two of you know. And try again. I think in that moment, Rally thinks about what he wants to do later. Just play video games, eat junk food, talk about the newest Nova comic, which has kind of lost its luster a little bit because now he's met him and seen his get it, him get his ass kicked. But it's going to hit the button again. It goes. And go ahead and roll your own d6, buddy. Sick. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So, would you mind showing us or telling us what effigy gear looks like? I can. So, I guess he goes through the transformation process, places it in the belt, that same familiar sound, he slams the two pieces together, and I have to pull up the Google Drive file because I forgot to do that earlier. <laughs> we can we can pan we can pan upstairs while you pull up the file if you'd like. Where do you got it? I have it. Yeah, I have it here. Okay. So effigy gear you see this almost cloud of smoke sort of start to emit from the belt like steam being let out of a train or something as you can hear these violent sounds of gears grinding against each other and you hear the belt announce gear grind gadget and mm. You can see flashes of lightning and sparks go off as a lot of this is self-contained and the smoke dissipates. And rather than like a more humanoid form, I guess, so to speak, the undersuit isn't like near blackness or like a, just a solid, I guess, spandex looking suit. It's just pure metal and gears and tech that's just layered on top of itself, mimicking uh, muscle and bone and veins and the outer shell is this sleek design sort of glassy in texture and look and out of his back are these various pipes that just intermittently spurt out like smoke and gas it's very slim form as he's just standing there and uh rally kind of or rally uh gilly begins to clap and he goes Every hero needs their reason to fight. And now you have yours. Uh, so do I hit something? Or... <laughs> Why not? Take a swing. Sick. Uh, he, uh, do, or is there like a training dummy or like a mountain no, he, or something? He, he, go, he goes, take a swing. I feel kind of bad, but okay. Um, do I, <laughs> the real question is, uh, do I bother with the weapon for this form? Uh, go for it. Cool. Uh, he's going to hit the top of the, the, uh, belt and it's going to say summon weapon world engine. And rather than like a sword or a bow, you just see all the gears start turning and kind of similar to how the tech worked in like Avengers with like Iron Man it builds outwards from his arm and it's just like a faux recreation of the uh, knuckle weapon from uh, Titan. And he's like, I don't know how this is going to work as he... Oh, also similar to um, Generator Rex, if anybody's nice. seen that. Nice, uh, nice. So you watch his... <laughs> the wow. The fist is essentially propelled by rockets as yeah. he slams it directly into uh, Gilly's face. Roll me and unleash your powers. Let's go. Do I have any bad times to this? Uh, I do not. Kill me. Uh, not super good, but unleash your powers is free. five. 
So, uh, mark yourself a potential. Uh, as you, like, go, the jets kind of give out at the last second. You still make solid contact as, as it was a rocket-propelled punch. Um, but it doesn't have the, probably the full impact it would have. Um, and as, um, as Gilly kind of turns back to face you, as, you know, he took this on the chin, uh, I'm gonna message you something really quick that you notice. I don't know. Should I message or should I just say it out loud? Do it. No, message me. I want to know. Give me one moment with class. <laughs> I want to know. that Gilly was a robot all along. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Uh, and as he kind of takes it in the chin and turns back to face you, he goes, well, very well done. Very well done, sir. So, you feel better? A little bit. Good. Remember this feeling. Remember the reason you fight. And he kind of like puts you a finger like to your chest. Remember the reason. Why do you fight, Gilly? And he like oh. looks up, he, look, he looks up and he goes, for them. I never had any kids of my own. Nova was very busy, as was um, their mother, so they were like mine. So, and now I have to prepare them for war. And so all I can do is protect them the best I can. I already have a dad, but I think you'd make a pretty good one. You'd make a really cool, like, uncle. Hmm. I think so. Doesn't mean I'm going to buy you beer, though. I... I don't drink. Good. It's bad for your heart. All right. Well, shall we return? Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll kind of time this all out together. Um, as Alea and um, you see Lilac come up side by side uh, with Alea is with his helmet off under his arm. Uh, you see Bluebird. She's like in her head, she's just like, I knew it. Like as soon as she saw the blue and the chains, she'd clocked his chain earlier that day. I think as well as like when, was, when she had the elevator coming up, she'd clicked out of the video feed and gone straight back to looking at Rook. Um, so she's going to glance over, look at that and then roll her eyes and then just look back at the screen. Hey, Spotlight. Mm, Bluebird. You got a pretty powerful sister here. And just kind of like throws a thumb over to Alea. I'll drag me into this. <laughs> mm hmm Well, this was fun. Uh, I'm going to go outside to smoke. Uh, Lilac, what are you wearing on Saturday? Or Spotlight, what are you wearing on Saturday? I have no idea if my dress has actually survived the attack on my house. So I will see what I... Why do you care? Uh, I'll just wear a black tie then to match. Excuse and then he, me? and he just goes to the elevator, uh, like to go back up to the surface to smoke, just smirking, lighting a cigarette as he goes up the elevator. I like, are you, is that your homecoming day? No, no. I'll pick no. you up at six as the elevator just, <laughs> no. Up, and he's gone. What is happening? I think you just got asked out. No, he didn't ask. I think you just you got just... told out. <laughs> <laughs> and just then, Gilly and uh, Rally, would you have de-transformed? Or would you have stayed? Um, hmm. We're not, like, going up. We're, he told no, us we were just, like, meeting with yeah, him. I'd... Yeah, you're all gonna kind of come together. Yeah, probably just, like, in gear form. Probably, like, recede the metal parts, and so it's just, like... It's like Rally's head on this, like, mechanical body. Nice. As Gilly and Rally join you now as you're having this discussion that you got told out. What you guys up to? Lilac just got asked I, to homecoming. That's so great! I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm Was it the no. blue guy? Bluebird. His name is Bluebird? No, his name is uh I don't know, Arvinus or something like that. So you um, do know him. Yeah, he's he goes to our school, and I found his wallet where we all got our powers, and I'm pretty sure he got the last egg, which is why his chain is shiny as all living hell. 
feel like that's a euphemism of some kind, but it's going no, way it's over not, my head. It's really not. He literally has a bell. I don't need to. Ex I don't know why I'm over explaining to you guys. I didn't. She points LA. I didn't. This looks like a new thing. Congrats. And then she points to Gilly and she goes, are we training tomorrow? Uh, yes, we will be training every day after school. Um, going forward. Are we training on Saturday? Uh, no, that's homecoming. Uh, I've already got your I got your dress from the house. What um, color is it? <laughs> uh, I believe uh, the, you, you had a few options your father had picked out. We had a rose gold. Mm -hmm. Looks like we had a purple and I believe it was a green, perhaps. I think and there was a blue one in there somewhere as well. She's going to think of what clashes most with blue. And she's like, I'll take the green. All right. Um, yes, no, homecoming is on uh, Saturday. I figured I'd have to be driving you all. Um, picking you Are up. Are going to take the parents. limo? Oh, well, I believe so. Lilac? Sure. And, um, and Alea, we need to get you a dress as well. So I hear you have a date. Stop, you have a date yeah, too that's go. so nice I, are we not all going as a group still i mean i have a date too but i think we can all go as a group still well yes you I go as a group and are... you have your dates you know oh okay mm -hmm. so it's like a it's like voltron oh no mm -mm. she's turned back in the chair to face the cameras again <laughs> <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> rally unapolog unapologetically thinks prom is a lot like voltron now um, well, um, you are all free to stay here, um, if you'd like, otherwise you can return to your homes, um, except I for- I live here. Yeah, well, and so do the girls now. Oh, um, yeah. so, um, Athira, if you'd like to stay, you may. Sleep over. I can, I can call your father for you. And take Am I back out. down with the TSB? Oh, yeah, yeah, you would have easily, like, got up. Bluebird would have just kind of given you, like, a two-finger wave as he walked by you. As you came back down the, with the crystal USB drive. What's that for? It's a surprise. Pierce the mask. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Go ahead. Pierce the mask. Uh, it's uh, 2d6 plus mundane. <laughs> 10. A 10? Uh, so you can ask three questions. <laughs> what are you really planning? What do you want me to do? What do you intend to do? How could I get your character to blank? Or how could I gain influence over you? What are you actually doing? What do you intend to do? And I'll figure out the other one after I get the answer to those two. So what are you no, actually doing? No, no, you have to ask all three. At the same time? All right. yes. What are you time. actually doing? So should I be concerned? <laughs> um, What is she planning to do? to give it to give the tsb to lilac what is uh should you be concerned no and the second one was what again i guess what like what is it ten yeah what are you like trying to do what is it for oh like, why it's, for is, a why... it's for a birthday present because none of those are lies <laughs> my birthday is not for like six months and she's just gonna like kind of fold her arms and then like give it to lilac off to the side it's like very lilac it. yep <laughs> God. uh well uh i'm not quite sure what is happening here but um uh Nithira, do you need someone to walk you home or are you yeah, i can do it I'm... okay i mean you don't have to go but I, if you are going i can I can walk you out. Probably shouldn't do it uh, like this. It might scare the neighbors as he just drops the thing and he watches all the gears and stuff just kind of rust over and fall off. Yeah, that one's new. Mm. Kind of rough on the cleanup. Is there like a broom? Uh, I will take care of it. Uh, okay, thanks. Um, you don't have to go. Are we, are, we, are we all just having a sleep over here? I don't think they have a choice, but you do. Well, uh, actually, um, uh, Lilac. Mm hmm. If you wanted, you could always stay with, you know, mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'll pass staying at Diaz. Okay, 
your uh, offer is there. Mm -hmm. Funny that it comes part. from you and not her. Anyway, uh, she's going to plug the USB in. She hasn't gone to the files yet until Raddy leaves, but... Okay. Um... I probably just need, I just need some clothes and just say hi to my dad. And then I look, you know, Burton will not care about a sleepover. Yeah. All right. Well, I will drive Leia home. Uh, Rally, if you wouldn't mind walking the theater to there. Leia, you're not going to stay yeah. for the sleepover? Oh, yeah. Wait. Uh, what do you... I should get back to my mom's. Mm. Wait. Oh. Do you guys okay. want me to stay for the sleepover? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll text her. <laughs> you wanna text come text. meet my dad? Yeah. Lilac, like, you can come too if you want. I'm but I know how I'm you feel about it. new people. You oh yeah, the thing, the thing. That's, that's totally great. And she's gonna just grab Rally and Alea's <laughs> arms. <laughs> I'm take you two off. <laughs> um, and so Lilac, you, I'm assuming you're gonna copy the files onto the flash drive. <laughs> yeah. Only the ones she's gonna watch all of them, mm -hmm. but she'll only copy the ones where he's only fighting Rook. Got it. Got it. And then she'll yes. uh, send a text to his dad and be like, "Hey, these files weren't edited over. They're big blank spaces. You might want to sort that out." And just like a proper dad fashion, just the thumbs up emoji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> LOL. Thanks. Oh, it's she like does... my my dad is just one word like K. Like she, does, emoji. She, she does like the sparkly heart back. Question mark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, my dad so much. Uh, so, um, Alea, Rally, and Nathira, you head back to Nathira's house, um, and your dad is passed out on the couch, blanket on his chest. Uh, looks like he laid down for his afternoon nap. There's some crumbs of a sandwich and a sandwich still in his hand. Right, like oh. starts cleaning up just because he's used to like doing stuff like this when he's over. Just kind of puts the sink in the sink. The sink in the sink. Puts the puts the plate for the sandwich in the sink. Puts the sink also in the sink. Okay. Just Sorry, detaches Leia. another sink. Sorry, what? 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 Oh! Hi, Dad. Hi, Mira. You're home. Oh, honey. Hi. 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 Where have you been? This is my new friend, Alaya. Hi, Mr. Nathan's dad. Oh, 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 and he's like, starts like, just, he's like, I'm, I'm Burton. I'm Burton. It's nice to meet you. I like the shirt. Thank you. Thank you. It's new. It's nice. <laughs> so you kids are having a sleepover? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be at Rally's house. Oh, okay. Uh, Rally, is it okay with your parents? I, yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. Great. <clears throat> Wait, do you need any snacks or anything? Oh, I can, I can make, and he kind of starts to like, Let's do the old man stand up. He's like, I can make you some snacks. Oh, yeah, you can do like breakfast for dinner. Yeah, I can make you some pancakes quick and I can send them on over. I also don't want to be a bother. We can just go to like the 12 8 down the street. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. You could have said 812. Why did you have to say 1208? I forgot that it was the other He got house. confused. Oh, it's I okay. Hate it. Oh, Rally right. and Chris got confused at the same time. Oh, They're bleeding God. together. What's real? Uh, well, and he and he kind of gives Nathira. He gives you some money. He goes, "Oh, there you go. Grab yourself something from these uh, the eight, the twelve eight down the street." It's like um, light aid. No, okay. <laughs> yep. And um, you have a good sleepover. You be safe. You got to have everything for school tomorrow. I need to get another outfit, and she just gives the money to Rally and. Do, 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 do. Runs upstairs, doo -doo 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 -doo, has like the same black overalls, but like thrown over her shoulder. Okay. I like those ones. Those are. These ones go really good with my hair when it's all flowy. She's very right. She's very right. Okay, yeah. I love you, Dad. I love you. And gives you a kiss on the cheek. Ruffle, ruffles your head, or your hair rally. And then high five for Alea. There we go. So cool, Yeah. All right. Well, He's so, like friendly. I'm like 11. You kids have a good night, uh, and I will see you to <laughs> And just like passes back out in the chair. Just kind of like turns the TV off, puts the blanket over him, and just like, like, 
should probably go. Yeah, okay. Off to 12 8. 12 8 it is. Ah, damn it. Um, <laughs> so, it was so, okay. It was between that and Nova Mart. <laughs> That would have been no better, more. honestly. Uh, yeah. So you you had yeah, you had yeah. to twelve eight the local convenience store on the corner, um, and uh, it's it's like a big, it, I'm, it's a big glowing yellow twelve and a, like a slash and then an eight, um, and <laughs> and, it's, and you walk inside, <laughs> and there's there's a there's an old elven man behind the counter, uh, big gray scraggly beard, pointy ears, lots of wrinkles. Uh, he's got, like, the three hairs that are combed over, like Homer Simpson. And he goes, Yes, uh, how may I help you tonight? What do you need? Just here for Hi, snacks. Jimmy! Oh, hey, Nathira! Hey, Rally! Who's your friend? This is Alea. Alea! Welcome in, welcome in. Hi. Uh, the, the usual, uh, four bags of chips, three bags of chocolates, and, uh, two large slushies, well, I suppose three. Yeah, three. Yeah, sounds three. good. All right, and he is, begins to gather oh, like. Wait, the, wait, yeah, wait, what, wait, what? Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, what? Rally, what? rally, rally! We need to get a couple snacks for Lilac. Do you know what Lilac likes? We should cut the chips out and just get extras of everything else. I guess maybe. What it, does Lilac like? Blood of orphans. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know, there was that, there was that woman in history who tried to remain forever young by drinking the blood of virgin women. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but in any case, um, Alea would know that Lilac doesn't snack. Uh, well, Lilac, I, I, real quick, I want to ask though: when you were a kid, what did you snack on? Um, add more things to the probably, canon of this game. <laughs> Probably, you, have you guys had like dehydrated or like dried, uh, like dehumidified like apple slices and strawberries? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. probably those. Uh, well, she she doesn't really snack uh, a whole lot, but but um, she did used to like like dried fruits and stuff and things like that. Jimmy, oh, the hell's a fruit? Food? Yeah, we got dr- Jesus rally. <laughs> Uh, yes, of course. Yes, we got some dried fruits, got some dried strawberries, some dried apples, some dried peaches. Yeah, that works. Oh, perfect. Right. Yeah. There's right. an entire section of this mini mart I've never been to. I what, Rally starts like walking off while he's like, some like sour fruit. gummy worms. All right, and he and he like puts all the snacks into a box for you, and like with a drink holder for all the slushies for the four slushies. Um, he goes, I, I would like to try and actually come to think of it. No, nobody would know about it. Never mind. All right. Uh, well, here you go, kiddos. Uh, I'm assuming I'm just putting it on your tab again, Rally. Uh, yeah. No, have the the rally. Rally. No, I, I come in here a lot. It's the only place that's open all the time. Oh, no, Rally has money. Burton gave him money. Oh, oh, we have money today, do we, Rally? You also you have make the money it sound you stole like from Jackson. All the t- <laughs> I do. Rally. I'm going to take the Jackson money. <laughs> oh well, well, this will cover maybe exactly. like an eighth of your tab, and he like, and he like takes the whole water. You know out of your what I'm good. You know what I'm good for it. Ah, just take the snacks and get out of my store. <laughs> love you. Hi. Nathira, you. you're lovely. Aleo, it was a pleasure you. to meet you. Rally, get bent. Uh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> key- just puts a keychain on the counter. I love he, at, he put he oh, turns Rally, and puts it in a pile of the keychains he has behind the counter that you've used. Rally was like the most loved character, and as time has gone on, we what really did I just do? been burning all of his bridges. <laughs> I didn't do shit to Jimmy. He just you exists. You were gonna pay him. You stole money from a guy's wallet, and you this won't pay, gonna him. pay him. And now he hates me for paying him. Rally has terrible financial decisions. Oh. Rally has been broke since the day he was born. <laughs> um, so you all return. You return back to the the rally point. Um, you know, you're back in the cave, uh, Lilac. You've you very quickly have finished up your um, your project. Mm-hmm. Um, and Gilly comes down while you all are he, you're passing out the snacks, and it goes oh. Um, Lilac, um, a package or two arrived, uh, at the house, and it was one of the things I grabbed. Something you ordered off, off your crystal. Um, and he right. hands, hands you the packages. These were the packages Thanks. you ordered when you were on your way, um, mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Right. Um, sure. 
uh, rally, and she's just going to chuck them over to him. Those are for you. (laughs) Um, (laughs) The prop comedy continues. It's been a while. I don't have to say anything. This is the continuation of that bit. Um, It's just a... This isn't one of those things where you open it and then the glitter comes out. No, it's not. Ah, Fuck, I forgot there were things in here. Oh my Uh, god. So that what was, is that what Chris. is inside the boxes? What's inside the boxes? Inside the boxes were the limited edition uh, comics that uh, Rally had uh, that had got ruined. That Rally had accidentally ruined, even though they were like limited edition ones that he mentioned back in like episode one, mm-hmm. I do believe. Yep. Um, like and they were the ones that she ordered, like the signed versions of them uh, for him. Um. Thanks. Uh, no problem. S- sits there awkwardly. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Well, kiddos, you should uh, you know, eat your snacks and hang out, and but make sure to get some sleep because you have uh, school tomorrow. Right. All right, we got your snacks. We do. I don't. I don't eat snacks. It's like dried fruit. Dried apples. You got me dried apples. Uh, it's it's important to you know have some stuff on hand so you have energy. Well, like I said you used to like dried fruit. Yeah, I used to. She well, won't I... reach for them, but she has clocked them, <laughs> and she's like side eyeing Alea. But we got just you like... a, a slushy too. Mmm, great flavored frozen water. I'll pass. I think that's one of the major food groups. It's really not. What and kind of food do you like? What annoys me is I think that you know that it's not. Wait, what? Maybe. What kind of food do you like? I I don't know, like salads, chicken. I like Greek food. Uh, the Greek She's just the the world. World. <laughs> I like just I like Uber Eats. Like, Uber Eats. <laughs> um, I like like I don't know sushi, fish. Sushi. Are you fish. writing this down? I'm just like Venmoing Nathira yes. the money to pay for like the food that I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> ordering. You please, you don't write down personal things about me. It's just food that you like. Don't write down personal things about me. Okay, I won't. You're <laughs> writing down, don't write down personal things about Lilac, aren't you? I'm gonna bet. She, she like, that looks behind well. her phone. <laughs> As it's a clear crystal, oh so, like, God. you can see <laughs> through it. Like, it's, like, a sheer crystal, so you can see it. That's uh, so the, the slumber party goes off without a hitch, <laughs> unless there's anything else anybody wants to do before bedtime. Um, I think when everybody goes to sleep, uh, Rally is going to go train. Okay. All right. Noted. Um, and the morning comes, and the, the, days, the days begin to kind of blend together. As you're going to school, you're coming back and training. We're going to school, we're coming back and training. You're resting for a little bit, you're training. You're resting for a little bit and training. And over these few days, is uh, we're going to kind of, what we're going to do is we're going to go and round robin. And we're going to kind of have a, a scene of something you want to do um, over this week leading up to homecoming. And then when we get to the final day, we'll do, you know, the shopping or whatever we may need to do. We're going to start uh, with Alea. Alea, mm-hmm. is there anything specific that you would do in the week leading up to homecoming? Uh, yes, I think that Alea would want to go dress shopping with Nathira, uh in the oh. week before homecoming, since I'm assuming Nathira does not have a dress either yet. All right. Uh, so Gilly takes the takes the two of you uh, to one of the nicest dress shops in town in excellus um you know like you roll up in the in the limo um and he hands you the family card uh, and he goes uh, make sure to get something for nathira as well uh whatever she may like yeah yeah of course of course 
Uh, Nathan, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. Uh, don't worry, by the way. It is all on uh, my dad. Wait, is it is it like like he's actually paying for it, or is it like what Raleigh's been doing on? No, attack? he's actually paying for it. Oh, okay, that's that's better. And Rally owes a lot of people a lot of money. That pizza place that we got the other day, it looked like they wanted to put his knees in. There's a cut scene of like a big chef chasing Rally with a with like a rolling pin. <laughs> <Yes! laughs> I didn't know that that he chased with legal tender. <laughs> Uh, the two of you enter this dress shop, and it is gorgeous. It is, they basically, it's got those, like, nice, classic, like, Greek pillars out front. Nice, clear marble windows with all these different beautiful dresses in the, not marble, clear windows. Um, clear marble. Uh, cl clear marble. There you go. Shining crystalline windows with beautiful dresses uh, set up in the displays. And you walk in. And there's a very simple counter, a uh, very simple white clean counter uh, with it, what looks like the store ends, but you don't see any dresses inside the store. Uh, and you see a like long white haired uh, woman behind the desk, you know, her hair kind of all the way down her back. Uh, and she's in a very simple black uh, dress and she has a clipboard and glasses at the end of her nose. And she goes, hello ladies, um, how may I assist you? Uh, we're here to get dresses for homecoming. Oh, perfect. Uh, what colors are we looking for? Vizera, what do you like? Um, um, I really like purple and black. Purple. Well, like, like, like the flowers, foxgloves. Perfect. All right. Foxgloves, purple and black. Ooh. And for you? Um, I like, uh, like greens and browns and like tans and blacks. Hmm. Earth toads. All right. Uh, would you mind uh, stepping forward onto the uh, marks on the floor? You can see there's these like almost like hexagonal, like crystalline shapes on the floor. Mm -hmm. mm, happily. And you both step forward and there's kind of a flash of light and suddenly options begin to appear on your body. Uh, as, the as, as these kind of like projections. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so perfect. What? Oh, Dream come beautiful. true, finally. This is where as, the game has been leading. As the, uh, Nithira, describe Nithira's, like, ideal dress. Um, so, starting from the top, Nithira's hair actually gets put back. It's like her hair just unbraids itself and slowly pulls into a loose bun in the back and from the shoulders it almost seems like overalls are starting to come over her shoulder again but as you watch the black overall straps just fade into a deep deep um navy and black um navy and black material it's almost like when you hold a really really dark sapphire gem into the light and you get kind of that prism look it's just that's just what it looks like as it's coming down her shoulders are exposed and it comes down um just one fluid halter top and cinches at her waist and as the material goes down her legs it goes into a spiral and starting from her, from one of her sides all the way down into the cinch and then going around the spiral is just every, it seems like every color purple has been noted. Everything from fuchsia to, um, um, to foxgloves themselves to, uh, what are they called? I think they're called bellflowers. I love them. Um, but every type of purple flower you can think just starts wrapping its way around as the dress just kind of almost like breath was breathed into it from the bottom and it just falls down. Uh, and she does a little like foo, 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 with her hips. Beautiful. <laughs> the flowers aren't even coming off. No, they will they will not come off. That looks so beautiful. You look it's great. really it's it's not pants, but it's nice. No. Not pants, but it's nice. I like that. And now, um, Alea, please describe your ideal dress. Yeah, for sure. Um, Alea steps up and, uh, she is really simple. She doesn't want to be, like, too flashy with flowers or anything. So her ideal dress 
is uh, this like soft velvety uh, textile with very long uh, sleeves that like almost cover half of her hand. Uh, the neckline is square and like very wide, kind of like those 80s evening mm -hmm. dresses, if you know yeah. them. Yeah. Um, with uh, some uh, of her back exposed, maybe about like the first, third, but not much more than that. Uh, and the dress is uh, tighter to her body, but it's very comfortable, stretches, allows room to breathe. Um, and goes all the way down to the floor and has like a little slit. It's this like deep, deep green that looks like, like almost like a very dark brown, but then in the light when it hits, it shines like you can just barely see a little bit of green. Gorgeous, gorgeous. What well, girls, what do we think? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I really like it. I definitely don't look like I'm from Gentown. I think you look beautiful, Nadira. Really? Of course. Are you kidding me? I can't yeah. remember the last time someone said I was, another girl said I was pretty. That's nice. Well, I will call you pretty all the time, if you want. Because you are. Thanks! And she goes back to swishing her dress, like, <laughs> awkwardly. Oh gosh, I love her. Uh, well, uh, are we going to take these two? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. And we got the card. Perfect. And as she takes the card, the, the dresses de-apparate off of you. Um, <laughs> and and you're, you're fully clothed, don't worry. Um, as she runs, as she runs the, the crystal card. I don't know. I thought that's why you're part of it. I know. I was just and, sad because the dress is gone. <laughs> and you see these, these two beautifully wrapped <laughs> gift boxes, uh, appear on the counter, um, with your dresses inside of them. And she hands them to you and hands back the card. It goes, and here you are. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Of course. Of course. And have a lovely homecoming. You, you, you too. I'm not going. Uh, I am ready out of that place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Nathira, really yeah? quick. Um, I met your dad, but where? Where is your mom? Oh, my mom died four years ago. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, it's not okay, but it's okay. Clea, Clea sometimes in help. She's one of my dad's friends. And she was like, she was like my babysitter when I was little, but now she's more like my friend. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You miss your mom? Mm-hmm. She always wore her hair. She always like braided my hair. Um, and, and my dad's not super good at it, and I'm not good at it either. But that's why I like braid my hair all the time. Because it reminds me of her. Was she, uh, was she gone for a while before you found out? Um, no, no, it was, it, 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 it was a car accident. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't really hide that when they're missing a leg, you know. You know, Nithira. Yeah. I bet that your mom would like freak out if she saw how awesome you looked in that dress. I think she would have too. She probably would have been jealous because purple flowers were her favorite. Well, they were. Is that why your you like flowers in your hair and your hair is purple? Um, maybe. I think yes. that's pretty cool. She would have liked you. She would have thought you were really cool. That sounds like an honor. Do you, do, how, um, you know, are you and your, you and your mom close? We're, we're together. 
you, we got each other, you know? That was a weird way to not answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's been just us for a while. So, I guess we are. She relies on me a lot. And, uh, mm-hmm. I want to make sure she's okay. Yeah, you have a you have a really nice heart. Thank you. I bet that's like everyone's favorite quality of yours. Ethia, hey, you're really slathering on the compliments. Oh, is that is that a bad no, thing? No, it, it's not bad. It's just I'm not used oh. to it. Oh, you don't <laughs> get a lot of compliments. Uh, I, I think. People are just busy with other stuff a lot. How do you... Like, hmm? Sorry. Um, How do you deal with missing your mom? I don't... My dad's been gone for a while, and I just... I guess the worst things are coming up, and... I don't know. I just want to know if you have any advice. Well, having a best friend helps. Um, that's why Rally. That's why Rally started bringing me flowers because I told him that I missed how my mom had the flowers on the table all the time. So he'd bring them over sometimes, and we'd like put the, me and my dad would put them in a little vase in the center of the table. And then I just started sneaking some for my hair, and then he just started bringing some for my hair. So like having having a best friend really helps. They help take your mind off of it. And now you have Rally and me. Yeah, so, I do. Yeah. Sorry to have brought the mood down. Just, I don't know. You seem like you know how to get through stuff. So, you're wise. <laughs> I just think there's a lot of good stuff out there. even Even if you can't see it. Yeah. And for, and my dad says life's an adventure. He tells me to take her by the horns, that there. But I mean, there's not a lot of horns to take, so I take what I can. Not like rally, not like rally <laughs> at, the, at the stores, but like, yeah. We should go and take it by the horns then. And I yeah, and she like grabs the ends of her box. Yeah, yeah. run off. <laughs> and the two of the two of you run off. <laughs> Um, Rally, quick question for you. Are you practicing martial arts still on the roof at school? How dare you ask me this question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so one of the days, because it's become kind of a normal ritual of uh, Bluebird joining you on the roof, uh, he, he comes up there. It's like halfway through the week. It's like Wednesday. And he goes, kid, you know how to dance? Like the funky chicken, or are we talking no, like no? We got like dance, 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 dance. You you know how to dance? Uh, I mean, yeah, my mom taught me like a while ago. But well, just just do just do, I just want to see what it looks like. I obviously know what it looks like. I just you, I just want to pierce see the it. mask. Yeah, go <gasps> ahead, go pierce the mask. Not very good. Uh, that's plus mundane, right? Yes, yes, mundane. Okay, not bad. Nine. Uh, so you can ask one question. Do you know how to dance? <laughs> no, I don't I fucking don't know how to dance. dance all right, no, I, I, I fucking grew up in the docks. All right, nobody taught me how to dance. I don't know how to dance. Uh, and uh, we got the dance on Saturday. So just like, just what do I? And I swear to God, if you ever breathe a word of this to anyone, I'm I'm very discreet. Did I learn his name by this point? <laughs> Uh, it's he. He's told you it's Erevin. I I'm very discreet, Erevin. And I'm very Most good at pulling limbs off of people. So I was being genuine. Why are you threatening me? Because it's part of my personality. Okay. Now it's very let's... abrasive. I can see why you and Lilac get along. You're not wrong. All right. Uh, now, how do I do this? Um. 
well, and <laughs> Rally going like full tutorial mode, it like express it because like, yeah, I'm gonna make it canon that dancing is one of his like special interests, or at least was for like a summer and a half, as he just like gets real close and like grabs, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> grabs Arabin, and just kind of like, all right, so what you're gonna, I guess I will. I'll, I'll be lilac in this situation. I'll try not to be too angry and mean. But what you're going to want to do is you just hold right here and you just kind of like, and he's going to, I don't know how and to you go through the, you go through the tutorial. I go through uh, the steps. Let's, let's it's so romantic. Both. All right. You're going to roll a D6 and I'm going to roll a D6. And we're going to see how successful we are. Hell yeah. Uh, at let's learning go. How to, how, teaching Bluebird to dance. I rolled a four. 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 An eight. So mildly successful. He will probably only step on Lilac like once or twice. And we <laughs> we we see like this, like one person's kind of just watching from the doorway, which you guys don't see as the two of you are like, like, okay, one, two, uh, three, no, just, one, two. No, stop. Ah, fuck. <laughs> but get out of my way, you idiot. Like I'm it's trying to dance. Fucking, it's your chains. Get, they're getting caught on my keychains. I, and that fashion statement as the two of you I are get. dancing on the roof. <laughs> trying to figure out like unnaturally loud up here just like yep <laughs> just, just screaming gotta... at each other now fu don't fucking put your hand there um no, i'm not you're supposed to put your hand there but not that low fine you're just fine. you're very tall sir you said you're lilac okay like i'm like uh, oh yeah i am lilac all right let me... <laughs> <laughs> and so like it takes it takes a bit um do you have a do you have a suit already i I, uh, I was gonna like borrow a shirt from my dad or something. I don't really, I don't own a lot of nice clothes. I have the shirt I I, I got from Lilac's house. That's all right. That's all right, something. All right. It might be a little potch marked. I was I gonna I was gonna go lift. I was gonna go lift some clothes if you want to come with. I mean, I'm trying to be a good person because apparently I just discovered that a lot of people I go to hate me. So. I don't know if I, we could pay for it if you wanted to go together and buy some suits. When you say pay for it, it's like you farted. Like he looks at you like, ugh. Uh, what's you don't your, have to pay for yours. I'm what's what's your pants? What's your pants size? What is my pants size? I don't know. I, what is what is Riley's pants size? I just use the normal sizing. I don't. Know. Uh, medium. All right, medium. Got it. Medium dress pants. Belt. You got shoes already? Um, I got the like these shitty tennis shoes. God. Christ, even I know that's wrong. All right. Uh, I'll be back. All right, cool. I'm going to just do what I've been doing. I'll get out the afternoon snacks because I assume you're coming back. You but fucking better. Um, I, I always do. <laughs> uh, is there anything Rally wants to do over this time skip? Uh, well, if this is gonna if this is gonna be the 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 shopping for the for the evening for Rally for his prom or not prom fuck uh, homecoming clothing so to speak um mine kind of stretches out i guess over the course of the week or so okay he's been like training religiously with nobody around for like the last couple of whatevers he's like by the end of the week he physically looks different just from how many times he's like gone through the process mm -hmm. um hmm, i'm debating one thing so there's that for the for the homecoming itself i guess like on the last day he's gonna go with uh what she calls it to have a bit of a glow up but like in the middle of the week i want to say uh during one of the training exercises when everybody else has gone to sleep and like lilac is still awake he's just gonna like walk over okay it's like kind of dark with everybody around it but mm -hmm. um i need your help with something i feel like she's just on her crystal and she's like and what is that I need you to punch me in the face. She literally goes and just. Not right. <laughs> no thought. No thought. Just. Just. Punches no, she'll you probably. She'll, she'll. She'll. Probably oh. just it like last minute. Maybe just cluck his nose and then be like, "Not right now." On the thing when I'm trans. Ah. All right. My bad. Fine. Oh. <sighs> you want me transformed or not? Whatever you feel is the most effective. I'm trying to take this seriously, like you said. And I think by around this point in the week, Lilac, you would notice that, like, as he rolls up his sleeves, there are, like, various, I guess, scorch and, like, cut marks and, like, bruises, bruises and stuff. 
from yeah. like all the times he's like gone through training and gotten his ass kicked by robots or whatever. It, it's hmm. been Gilly. Gilly's yeah, been kicking Gilly. your ass soundly. He is like hmm. physically bigger now. Like he's put on muscle very quickly as he just. You ready? All right, let's go. Uh, she'll like, of course, they go down to the training room. Mm -hmm. She'll transform. Um, and then, yeah, I think she'll try to cloth in the face as hard as she can. Like, he's going to tell you to wait so he can transform first. Uh, she'll, she'll wait. I presume they transformed. I yeah. presume they transformed. Uh, I guess I'll go for it. See, what he, see if it's a new form specific to this. <gasps> oh, yay! The gun one. He gets Gatling. He gets which... a gun. <laughs> it just gets like two guns. No, um, I roll for Glock. So, uh, for the sake of time, since uh, I don't want to take up too much of, of this little vignette, uh, he transforms. You can see that the helmet has a bit of a motif of a of a wasp. On both of his arms are these like sort of Gatling barrels, and he's just covered in like uh, bullet bandoliers. It's like okay, I was hoping for something a little more combat heavy, but this works too. As right. just gets ready and okay. tells you to uh, fight. Just... Yeah. She'll probably get a running head start to try and get like a, a proper fist going, like a little bit of like that comet sort of radiation from her fist oh, trailing god. off. Oh god. <laughs> um, yeah. Rally's not gonna to try to out out. You're gonna just gonna take it on the jaw? Just gonna take it on the jaw. Okay. Uh, why don't you, let's see, uh, um, give me an Unleash Your Powers, please, Lilac. Um, that's gonna, f finally, okay, that's gonna be a nine. <laughs> of course, when you're punching Rally. Um, I know, right? <laughs> so it has more force than you kind of, like, intended, mm -hmm. uh, and Rally, it, it still knocks you back. It still knocks you back. Um, but it doesn't hurt as much or shake you as much as it has previously in the past. Um, there is a small crater around you uh, that Lilac uh, put you in, but uh, it doesn't hurt as badly as it did before. Hmm. That didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Um. That's... I mean, I guess that's great for you. Progress. Progress, I guess. Progress. She's going to look at her fist and be like, really? Great. Ugh. Okay, are we are we done here? Is that all you needed? I thought you said you wanted me to take this seriously. Oh, you want to go? Yeah. She goes to clock him again. Okay. He's going to dodge this time. <laughs> In the interest of time, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to pull our first cards. I'm going to oh, pull your cards. What? Wait, what? Oh, no. So what? What these cards mean for those at home and my cast, you may not know. <laughs> um, it's another way to add just a little bit of flavor, a little bit of chance. Because even, even in the coolest moments, you know, maybe the dice fail you. Or even in the most desperate moments, your dice fail you. So what the cards do is they give you a 50-50 shot, right? Um, and if it comes up red, it's a fail. If it comes up black, it's a success. Okay? So the way we're going to do this is, let's see. What is your intention is, like, I'm going to ask you both individually. Rally, is your intention just to train or to win? I'm going to say after, like, at first, he was like, yeah, I'm going to train. You know, maybe this will be, like, good. I can kind of, like, prove that I'm actually taking this seriously. But mm. after he's like, you want to go? He's like, oh, now it's on. Now I want to win. Okay. And uh, Lilac, what is yours? She just wants to push him. Okay. So, uh... I'm going to describe it first. And then, because I've, I've just flipped over the first card. Uh, oh the card of, like, of the result of the fight. And I'm going based off of whether Rally's going to win or lose. Okay. The two of you begin to go back and forth, back and forth. The arena is torn apart as the two of you, you know, he's running with his guns and shooting at you. You're dodging and phasing through, punching him. He's dodging your fist. You're locking, you know, locking fists back and forth, throwing each other all over the place, slamming each other into walls. 
Um, and Rally, just for one moment, there's a quick misstep. <gasps> and Lilac, how do you finish the fight? I think she is gonna grab his arm pull him into an arm lock, slam him down so he's on his front, and then grab him. Is he Has his hair out? No, it would just be like a sleek sort of bee helmet, or wasp bee helmet, helmet, so to speak. I think she'll then grab the helmet and pull his head back, and then kind of like, say, like, towards like where his ear would be, like inside the helmet, where he could hear, mm -hmm. uh, and just say, better luck next time, kid. And then let go of him. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, anything else, Rally? Yeah, I guess on the way out, he's just really like, "Do you want to do this again sometime?" I think she's like walk already walking to the elevator. She's got her back to him, but then as she gets to the elevator, she'll transform back and go, "Make it a little bit earlier next time." But sure. And I'm, I don't mean this in a romantic mean. I just, for the players, I, this is not a romantic uh, thing. I'm like, I think it's name. <laughs> character like Larry was gonna be like, you I can't know. tell us what to think. God damn. <laughs> There's so many head cannons and so many ships in this campaign. It's ridiculous. Um, and... The rest of the night, Rally is like, he's a little mad and he's just gonna keep training. Mm -hmm. You can take solace in you kept up for a while. You kept up for a long while. Um, He's not and disappointed that, he lost. He's disappointed that he's just not strong enough as he's just... <laughs> Fair play. Uh, Lilac, now during mm -hmm. the week, what do mm -hmm. you do the week leading up to homecoming? Lilac went to the... I think she went to the council for uh, wherever she would be able to go to get as much information on the restricted area as possible. So you would probably, the most thorough record that you could access would be from the rally point. Okay. Everything else would be off public record. See, that's the thing. I want to try and use this little move that I have to try and get some off the public, like non-public record stuff. Okay. Okay. So you, you head to basically like the records building. Um, mm -hmm. It's in Excellus where all the other like political and um, like council buildings are. Mm -hmm. And uh, you approach the counter and there's a, a pleasant looking, you know, young man with glasses on. He's got a nice little polo um, mm -hmm. sitting behind the desk. Uh, you know, he's got blonde hair and he goes, oh, uh, how can I help you today? Hi, it's so nice to meet you. I'm uh, Lilac. Uh, Lilac Everbright? Yes, uh, yes, we know who you are. Wonderful. Um, I was wondering if you could help me. You see, um, I'm currently looking for some information on the restricted area. Um, oh. It's... Uh, for what reason? Unfortunately, the total reason is kind of classified, but it's for uh, Nova. Uh, oh. I'm helping him with some research on potential suspects. I don't know if you saw, but we were recently attacked in our home by a villain. Right, 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 right. I remember. The, the last appearance of them is in the restricted area. And we haven't managed to get any more information other than that. So, okay. uh, I was hoping you'd be able to help me find as much information as I can. I've kind of exhausted everything I can publicly uh, that's available. Okay, do you have a role for this? To I have symbol of authority. When I give an NPC an order based on authority they recognize, I can roll savior. And on a hit, they choose one, which is to do what I say, get out of my way, or attack a disadvantage, whatever. But, yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll for me. Ah, uh, that's... Oh, a four and a six plus two. So that's twelve. That's 12. So he um, yeah. uh, so he looks at you and he goes, um, one moment. And he like steps away from the counter and goes in the back. Um, and then he comes back out with nothing in his hands and he puts his hands on the counter and he goes, I I'm so sorry, uh, ma'am, but that information is restricted. And, and he, you see as he slides his hands forward um, mm -hmm. across the counter, you see there's a small crystal like in between his fingers angled towards you. Um. She's going to put her hands on him and fold them together and go, thank you so much for trying. I mm -hmm. really appreciate it. Uh, of course. I hope you have a 
really, really good day. What was your name again? Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, it is so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for trying. Of course, of course. Have a great day. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I gotta write down Jeffrey now. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, yes, Jeffrey, do. the library. Um, you now have a crystal, um, like a crystal, like USB drive, essentially, that he mm -hmm. slid you across the desk. Amazing. Um, she would go back home, and then I'd like her to unleash her powers for her speed reading and speed learning to try and learn as much as possible in as quick as time as possible. Okay. Yeah, so you put this in, and it's a lot of files that have areas blacked out. But mm -hmm. the information that you do uh, basically re um, retain from going over all and pouring over these files, you know, these hundreds of files that you do so quickly, is that there was essentially that level used to be uh, where experiments and but also where the, the heroes used to be um, like that's where they used to operate out of in the early days. Oh. And okay. at one point they attempted to uh, recreate um, the basically the method of creating a super like a super. Um, and it uh, failed dramatically, uh, resulting in the entire level being irradiated and needing to be sealed away. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> Me jotting that down. Um, I think that's mostly what she's focused on then. She's probably checked in on Brooke at some point as well. Okay. Uh, he's He is making his way there, because essentially he has to like go through like secret tunnels and things to make his way there while you're on the computer you feel a weight on the back of the chair um and a puff mm -hmm. of like a, a smell of cigarette smoke um and you hear blueberry go so what are we reading none of your business oh the restricted section interesting <laughs> can i can i can i help you uh yeah you, you've never told me what your dress was for saturday um yeah, it's because I'm not going with you. Well, I know we're all going together, but, you know, we're going together. No. Mm. No. Mm. No, we're not. I'm not doing the matching thing with you. I'm... I mean, I'd say I could wear just black if that's what you want. You know, why don't you just wear black? Because you've got blue hair and such. So, you know what? It's such a shame because my dress is actually going to clash really badly with you. It's fine. We clash anyways. What, 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 Deep breath. I, I'm, you, I'm gonna kill you. I mean, you, you tried, but you failed when we were, you know, practicing the other day. She's gonna, like, turn back to face the screen and then just drum her fingers on the table before going, I'm wearing a green dress. Have fun trying to find something that will match with that. You can figure it out. Sure. Uh, you know how to dance, right? Of course, I know how to dance. Good. Me too. Of course. Takes a pull from from cigarette and like exhales. Um. Do you want to like get coffee like tomorrow maybe for the dance? Are you asking me out? I, I know you're smarter than that to ask that question. Oh my god. I, you, you're unbelievable. I know. I know, I'm pretty great. What? Is this how you charm everybody? You just act sarcastic and like a little know-it-all? Isn't that what you do too? Clashing, remember? Told you. Hmm. Yeah. It's really charming the socks off of me. That's all. Yeah, fine. I'll see you for coffee. Perfect. Um, and he he leans off of the chair and mm -hmm. walks away. She'll glance slightly over her shoulder at him. Um, 
before whipping straight back around to face the uh, screen. Um, as he gets on the elevator, he goes, saw that. As the elevator <laughs> rises up. Uh, Covers her ears. <laughs> <laughs> what else would Lilac like to do in this off time? Um, she's studied that. She's done that. Um, she is probably, um, I think going to try and work with, our, uh, with, uh, Raleigh's dad, mm -hmm. um, to try and get like better methods of communication, like earpieces and stuff, yep. um, that sort of thing. Um, and have him teach her more about his tech and like his tools and stuff that he makes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Um, and so, you know, the week goes on and you all kind of have mm -hmm. these moments. You get to all of these things, uh, rally just like un like unannounced in your locker. You have like dress clothes still with the tags on, um, you know, yeah. You like, there's like <laughs> dress, dress pads. There's some socks. There's a belt. Uh, there's a tie and some shoes. And there's there's a note that says, "You're welcome," uh, <laughs> on it. Um, Thanks, Aravin. And um, the week, you know, accelerates just before the day of homecoming, uh, just before the day of homecoming. And yes, Nathira. I didn't get to do anything besides dress shop. Oh, I am so sorry. I need yes, to do. <laughs> yes, Nathira, please, please go. I am so sorry. Nathira no, does sorry. nothing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, the only thing she really wants to be doing is trying to do crystal research on the doctor who did her surgery, aka try to find any like file in her dad's room or something like, like that, a receipt or, or something even like just, that. Yeah, or even just ask her dad, like, and then just try to look up stuff from him. Okay. Um, your dad, your dad tells you that his, uh, he's like, oh, uh, the doctor's name is Dr. I believe it was Dr. Asher. Uh, he was out of the, um, out of the, the docks, uh, down in, uh, down on the first level. I believe that's where his practice is. Um, and that's what your dad tells you. Uh, but as you search, uh, on, uh, the crystal, uh, you see a news article from maybe a year ago uh, of some malpractice uh, found on his side, uh, where this doctor was cutting corners, um, you know, like basically using cheaper, you know, uh, equipment, cheaper medical, uh, basically like he was, he wasn't doing his job. Um, he wasn't upholding the Hippocratic Oath. Um, and so he actually had his medical license uh, removed um, and he has not been seen since. He was not be able. He wasn't able to be found for comment. Cool, cool, cool. Fudge. Um, is there anything else in the theory you want to do? Uh uh Okay. Uh, the camera begins to pull back from all of these little scenes in these little places, and begins to pan upwards into the restricted section, and we see kind of like flickering out arcane lights and we see broken machinery and you know we see lots of garbage and trash everywhere as we see you know rook is like making his way through kind of ducking and dodging and he gets to a junction and the camera kind of whips around to see his face and we see him look up and he kind of like he takes a pull of a cigarette and, he, and he, as he has this realization in his eyes as he looks at as he looks at his watch he goes ah shit and there's an explosion and that's where we're going to stop for tonight okay bitch thank, thank you all so much for joining us for episode 6 of heroes of bastion uh just wait for next time for homecoming it's got to be a blast Thank you so oh, much. Uh, you can't, you can't say that after you just exploded something. <laughs> or or <laughs> maybe what blew uh, up? Was it Homegummy? <laughs> thank you Homecoming so much. Blew up. Uh, D and D imposter as Nathira. Thank you Hamasama Kun as Rally. Thank you Relentless as Lilac, and thank you Caminator the Animator as 
Alea. I said it right the whole session. I'm so uh, proud of you. <laughs> it only you took all. you how many episodes? Five. Thank you all so much. Have a lovely evening, and we will see you next time.